the Eagles coaching staff, speaking of uh, Michael Clay's extension, the new guys, Nick Sirianni and Kevin Petullo there on the left, and then you've got Kellen Moore, Vic Fangio, and Doug Nussmeyer making an appearance at Geno's Steaks as uh, Sirianni took them on a little tour to uh, get a taste of tourist cheesesteaks. Now, you wrote your newsletter this morning, Rich. You, uh, you're not against this. You're, you're, you're pro Geno's? No, no, no. I'm just saying that I used to live in South Philly, and sometimes, you know, on a Saturday night in my younger years, I would have to order some food at night, you know, to, to make sure I would be, I mean, I, I wouldn't feel good the next day, but I would have felt worse if I didn't. And I would get Geno's because they would uh, be able to deliver very easily. Now, is Geno's mm. a good cheesesteak, Bo? No. No, it is not. Is it a tourist trap cheesesteak? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm just saying it's open at 3.30 <laughs> a.m. Well, that's certainly not when they went. Now, well, no. I get you want to give them a taste of like the, the, the tourism here, but having lived a block away, you got to go Pats over Geno's to me. This is, not even, this is not even debatable in my mind. Well, I mean, I, I also think, by the way, it is the type of picture. Let alone just for like the xenophobia. Yeah, well, exactly. Um, but here's the thing. Nick Sirianni does not do kind of... Well, this is an important point. He, he is the pander. He does things that mm -hmm. people know. Yes. So he is not finding a hole in the wall yeah, He's not going to Little shop. Sicily too and getting the, uh, you know, getting the Indian cheesesteak. Totally. And, and he's not finding even you know, a great pizza shop that secretly has a, uh, a great cheesesteak as well. Like, he probably does not know what Del Sandro's even is. Like, Nick Sirianni is going to the biggest place possible... And he's going to Geno's for better or worse. In this case, for much worse. I would I would mm. agree with you on that. I, I also I think like the comment here. The, the rank in the shoe games. Kevin Patullo getting a shout out as the best shoes there. I have a couple notes on that that photo though. Yeah, and, and I mean a fascinating piece of just Eagles information. Well, of course, Kevin Patullo is with Sirianni on one side, his guy. Yep. But it's the literally guys, his right hand man. <laughs> actually, on his right hand. Yeah. And the three new guys are on the other side. It's like they told mm. Gino and Sons to uh, <laughs> to kind of get in the middle and say, "This is this is how we uh, this is how we roll here. These are the clicks. Right? These are the new guys. Yeah. Maybe if we win a Super Bowl, we'll all take a picture together. But yeah. Now, now, if we're taking it that deep, are you a little bit worried that Nick Sirianni is not front and center? Kellen Moore is the guy who is in the center of the picture. Yeah, that's a power move by Kellen Moore. I didn't know he really yeah, had that in him. Maybe you think that was intentional, that if this Eagles team turns it around, everybody's going to be talking about Kellen Moore and not Nick Sirianni. Yeah. Doug, Doug Nussmeyer, big that, guy, too. It, Doug Nussmeyer, big guy, also looks like he wasn't invited to be in the picture. <laughs> like, like, like he's just sort of standing off to the side. I know. Like, put, your, you know put your arm on Vic's shoulder, my man. Well, there are some other concerns, too. Vic is from the area. He is... He, I mean, I, I know he's from Scranton, but he's, he's certainly been around Philadelphia a lot of his life. Is there any concern that Vic didn't say, hey, Nick, like, maybe we shouldn't go to, to Geno's. Maybe there's, there's another place I have that uh, I would like to go or you, you would actually like the food uh, yeah. here. Yeah, or is, or is Vic getting on the phone afterwards and being like, you're not going to believe where this Jamoke took me <laughs> for a cheesesteak. Like, he doesn't even know about Angelo's or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I would say, I would say of all the offseason developments thus far, pertaining to the 2024 Eagles, this might be the most concerning. That, that's fair. I, one thing I will say about Vic, he really is the platonic ideal of a defensive coordinator. hundred <laughs> percent. Like, like yes. that smile there seems completely Except forced. The, uh, the only thing is I would say that his clothes look too new. Yeah, and I, I think that's why he's unhappy inside. You know, like, <laughs> he's like, like, he's like I, don't, I don't like what I'm wearing He right needs now. to be wearing a jacket that's 35 years old. I yeah. mean, what are we doing, Vic? Yeah, so that, that's not good. I, w one other thing, though. If the Eagles struggle... Jeans? You want your old defensive coordinator in jeans? Come on. It looks like a very unhappy man. I want, I want hiked up uh, like athletic shorts, no matter the time of year. Well, look, and I want my defensive coordinator, whenever he smiles, it looks like the Grinch on one side, kind <laughs> of, you know, just, just one side curling up and, and it being very forced. So he's passing that test, I would yes. say. Yes. Uh, one other thing about this photo, Bo, and again, you can, can blame Geno's if, if this is the case as well. If the Eagles start like one and three next year, this photo probably becomes a meme. <laughs>
Yeah, you may be right. If if Kellen Moore is stinking the joint up, th- there might be a meme of just him in front of the Geno sign. If Doug Nussmeyer and Jalen Hurts are yelling at each other on the sideline, you know that little cutout of <laughs> Nussmeyer. Just him in front of yeah. the door. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, though. Yeah. We all silly like the mayor. 